So yeah, we can just go ahead and run this replay. Uh, this is a Lyrilus Tri Brigade matchup. Oh. I hate this deck so much. Yeah, this I is what really I think really is probably the, this or Drytron. I think are the best decks. I think I Drytron playing against Drytron. So Drytron, I think Drytron is better than Lyrilus, but everyone's playing it. This, this sounds really pretentious, but I think everyone's playing it wrong. I think playing Herald is a mistake. But uh, this deck, I think people are playing correctly and at full power and it's gross. And that guy had a bird call that was royal rare and like, holy cow. <laughs> so. Yeah, I also resolved uh, Drawn Lockbird against this player. And you can just sort of see how nutty this deck is. And like, the opponent hard drew. I'm very lucky I've drawn yellow to make an attack over. Yeah. I mean, technically that still would be very difficult for me to to get through because he has the um warrior kingdoms card so the lightning vortex doesn't manage to clear that out so i can get my attack i'm not going to be able to otk here because opponents got me locked out with the barrier statue so this is where we go for a full arrival combo so the combo slightly differs uh in the ordering that you're summoning your various colors to do it uh you have to reuse one of your normal summoned at misters to get the full thing off uh so yeah, you just kind of see as I go through, get my field spell, field spell down, and then just start summoning uh, different colors. I've already used yellow, so we're gonna go red. Red's gonna get purple, I think. Yeah, and then you go up to Cypress Whiskid, Whiskid. Uh, you summon the Doi Doyon Mister or the purple one to get myself the green. It just occurred to me when you mentioned uh, red getting purple, because purple was already on the board. You're watching the stream instead of the Discord call. Yes, yes, I, I was watching it for the stream, so I was lagging a little bit. Behind, <laughs> so, I, I just paused it so that the stream could catch up to reality and you could switch over to reality. Yeah, so in this case, uh, the key thing is that I normally summon yellow, and in this next part of the combo, you'd normally special summon green uh, to... And then you'd uh, dump one card from your deck and then use the Splash Mage. Uh, yeah, at, at this point, you use the yellow uh, yeah. uh, so that you've got the green available to you when you do the Templar. So you make this is where the combo deviates. You go into uh, Dark Templar, you drop the green Attic Mister away from the Templar. And you uh, dump in Mari instead of red. So, yeah, so that banishes yeah. from the graveyard to act as a one turn uh, impermanence, essentially. Uh, Dan Mari, that's the card's name. I kept forgetting it. Only if you control a Link 6 monster. It's me and Marion <laughs> All right, So, yeah, it, it's really good. Uh, if you aren't playing that version, the card that you dump is the red one because of its damage step effect to stop you from getting OTK'd. But this guy actually has another effect that we're finally going to use. Yeah, which lets you move him and change his attribute, which is very important because it lets you get an extra thousand attack off of your arrival. So we shift this across. And we pick Divine because everyone has to be a different attribute. Yeah, and you make sure you don't get the Dark one back uh, because the, you've already got the uh, Templar. So then we make Quantum Dragon, because uh, Quantum Dragon Descend makes it super awkward for the opponent to interact with the arrival. And I think I've got the game locked down at this point, because my opponent doesn't really have a way of killing that easily without making uh, something like an access code talker, and then they've got to attack through my Quantum Dragon. Uh, well, actually, that said, they'll just kill my Quantum Dragon with um, access code talker and then attack my guy. So I've got the maxi as well. So opponents forced to take the maxi challenge. Oh my god! This, yeah. if this they... game is going to make me cringe a lot because I cat, I just make such a catastrophic misplay, and I'm lucky to win this game by the skin of my teeth on something that should have been quite easily, quite yeah. firmly locked down at this point. This scenario is why I think maxi should stay banned. There's a lot of people. You're either in the zero camp or the three camp. No one thinks the card should be at one. Everyone has figured that out finally. But despite the fact that I'm playing one in my deck, there you go. <laughs> But uh, it's just when it's at one, it's incorrect to play around it, so you just lose games to it. Um, but the people who are in Camp B, where they want three Maxis, 
scenarios like this are actually where max c is at its strongest because your opponent is forced to take the max c challenge or they lose the duel and by taking the max c challenge to actually out this board it's going to give matt so many cards that he's going to win the duel anyway as soon as that max c was pitched this game ended and that is supremely unfair like going first with max c is actually better than going second with it unless your opponent also has a max c <laughs> like, because you get to set up a board of, like, Stardust Dragon Felgrand, and, like, that's going to take you, like, seven summons to break. And I'm just going to get a whole brand new hand and make another board to kill you, and you're going to be left limp because you had to break through a Stardust Dragon and a Felgrand. Like, you can't yeah, do you it. you burned all of your cards. Yeah, so here's where I'm going to cry, because I should absolutely snap the game back, I'm pretty sure, uh, with the Demari, because the problem... I was thinking, I've just got to basically make sure... Yeah, this is the card you need. This one's the plus four. Yeah, so my opponent can make two of the uh, the Xyz. Yeah, so opponent just goes ahead and clears out my Quantum Dragon, so forced to target it. They can interact with uh, a rival, but is this Xy that I really have to worry about? Because any battle damage you would take, you do to your opponent instead, and I've got four fires and attack monster in play. So opponent rounds it twice, I lose. And at this point, like I'm kind of uninsure of the interaction and wonder if uh, by negating uh, one of these things, if the if I negate that, I stop my opponent being able to increase the attack, so they can't attack over my outer rival. And I stop them also sniping me with the uh, double attack. But then one of the materials prevents you from targeting the XE. So my opponents now can just got, can run over my field and make the futures. So this is where I nearly pumped the game. Yeah, Cobalt Sparrow here. Cobalt Sparrow, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. If I had used a Dan Mario a lot earlier, there, I wouldn't have been in this situation. Actually, I don't know, because my opponent special summons the level 1, and then they just normal summon, and then they can't get a card back, then they search their deck for... I might have still lost, actually, didn't I? I don't know the Luras deck well enough, but... Yeah, opponent uh, makes a very strong comeback, but they're all in, like, at this point. And they have to be. They, kill me. The only way yeah. to not lose the duel is to do everything that they're doing, and that's what, like, this is max C at full power right here. Yeah, this is, like, the, the best max C's you can do. <laughs> like... I, uh, I, I had well, like, a game, uh, I didn't save the replay because, like, I still won. If I had lost, I would have saved the replay, but, um, uh, you, you see the size of your hand and, like, how some of your cards have gone off screen. I had an opponent who, like, what, you're, oh, you're one card away from it, I think. This Zeus will probably actually give it to you. Um, not that it matters, but, yeah. See this here? one more summon you can't click on it anymore and the traps go on the far right of your hand i had an opponent who made like a vfd took the max c challenge and i drew like my friggin entire deck and drew for turn and i couldn't imperm his vfd because i couldn't click on it it was off screen you can actually drag and swipe your hand across i'm pretty sure i haven't and found a way it. to do it like I, I think i've seen people on stream doing it um but yeah like in this case, I'm feeling very comfortable. I've got double imperm. Yeah. See there, the second one's off screen now. If you didn't oh, have yeah, two yeah. imperms, you wouldn't be able, like, you can imperm, well, you have an island, so you can't, but you'd be able to, like, imperm the thing. And... Yeah, okay, I can't play my Lightning Storm. That's the key thing. Oh, actually, I can, but I have to just set an AI land first. Hmm. All right, and then we bait the Zeus out as well, just because we can. I would have been best served putting that Zeus in defense mode, but mm. then I could have just played the second Kaiju because my opponent wouldn't control a Kaiju. And now, opponent's, opponent's completely out, and I've got full combo. Yeah, th this it. is uh, Max C. This is what Max C does to people at home. <laughs> like... Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah, just, uh, just go in and full combo with the. Uh, is the update jammer in the screen. graveyard yet? Or did that get interrupted? No, 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 no. I didn't even. Uh... Oh, yeah, you got interrupted by the barrier statue, so you just uh, did the. Yeah, I just went for a thing in Quantum phase two. Dragon. Yeah. But the Quantum Dragon's been a lot stronger than I ever thought it would be because if my opponent uh, summons his Mechorochi or something, it gives me extra attacks to, to get through. And I've got a win. You activated right yellow. <laughs> you brought it back yeah, to yeah. Splash Mage and used it. That's funny. Yeah, yeah it doesn't matter because I, I knew at this point the game is over. Yeah. So, well, you know his hand is just the Keras. Like, the game's... Yeah. My heart was racing quite a lot actually doing this because I realized how much that misplay nearly cost me a game that I thought I had locked down. It's quite fragile, this. Uh, and then, yeah, you can just go ahead, uh, get your access code talker online, 
double swing over your Lyralisk opponent and get on with the rest of your day. Even if you didn't have that Lightning Storm, like, you had so many cards in hand, you would have had a way. <laughs> like, the yeah, Lightning yeah, Storm no, would have been would something have else. It's just not like, on that turn, and I was very fortunate to not 